Welcome back to South America and Colombia. Now I'm very close to Panama actually. I am also very close to the Darien Gap, the jungle between Panama and Colombia. It's a very dangerous path to go there. The most dangerous jungle in the world, many say. And a lot of people from Venezuela is escaping Venezuela and trying to get to the US through the Darien Gap. But I'm not that adventurous, so I'm not going to the Darien Gap. I'm going to a beach town. This is very close to the, the Darien Gap, so uh, follow me to the beach areas around the Darien Gap. Will be a, we start with a boat journey with a lot of people. I think it's here is a lot of tourists actually. I, I thought it was supposed to be only people that escaping uh, from Venezuela and other parts of the world. But no, there's also a lot of tourists here. I think this was a, like a national day in Colombia. So, and that this area that I'm going to is very popular for people from Medellin, for example, that go here. Uh, I met a like a family from Medellin and they really like going here they say I was here for like f well, a week so it's not only people that try to escape but now we are at Gugana. it's the first beach town I arrived in in this area and here is my uh, hostel uh, I stay here, stayed in this hostel area for three nights and it cost me I think it was 12 euros, uh, 12 US dollars per night. Uh, the, uh, it was a good camp family, campground. But the next day we are going to another place. We are going on a jungle tour, a jungle hike that will take me to Panama actually. <laughs> so I'm also going to Central, uh, Central America in this video. It's very interesting. Uh, and I saw a lot of military activities in this area when I was hiking from my beach area to the to Panama. Uh, I'm at the. I think they were Colombian militaries in the jungle with a lot of weapons, so that was a little bit scary. But otherwise, I didn't uh, see any like any any bad things here. It was, it was, yeah, you will see, you will see, you will see, you will see the beaches here. Yeah. And now we are still walking. <laughs> and now we are in the other town. In, we are, we are, I'm going back to Caparcuna. So actually I'm in Caparcuna now. And... Um, I think this was a more touristy place like 10 years ago, but still they have an airport as well. So you can take an airport from Medellin and uh, you see here a small airport, a small airplane. So still a lot of tourists come here in, to this area. Here, now uh, on the map, and this is will be the high. So I'm going to come Sapsuru, Sapsuru, Sapsuru. It's my um, first destination on my hike. Like, it, was, it took me four hours, three, three or four hours hiking through the jungle, all by myself. You see the mud is yeah, it's very deep in the jungle now. Yeah, the mud was, <laughs> was crazy. <laughs> yeah, very muddy. And here you see Capacorna and uh, Sapasuro. So this is Sapasuro that here down there, and that is my goal today to go to Sapasuro. And in the next few days, I will uh, move to that beach as well. Um, but now we are actually in Panama. We, I walked from Colombia to Panama. It's a small beach 
here called La Mel in Panama and I stayed here I just walked here for lunch I ate some fish some beer and just had a relaxed time here and the beer and the food was I don't remember the price but it was okay but now I'm going back to Colombia again I'm heading back to Colombia and now I'm in Zapasuru, Colombia and this is like a few days later I moved to Zapasuru that's uh, after the hike I took a boat it was quite expensive but yeah you have to do what you have to do sometimes it was not the easiest way to, to get around with boat because you have to you, you you have to take a private boat so you have to pay like 10 or 15 US dollars to get around uh, this area this small beach town is like three beach towns and now I'm back in Panama <laughs> again and uh, this is the end of my adventure around the, the Darien Gap now I'm trying to get back to I'm still at the in the mainland but it was a, a feeling of the island island life here even if it's not an island you have the feeling of uh, an island so now I'm taking a boat back to Nicoli Nicoli or something like that and uh, so bye bye Sapasuru I will recommend you could go to go here uh, it, was a, it was a very relaxed place Nicolisi maybe can you may I think I pronounced it wrong but here in this town a lot of you can buy everything for uh, for the a younger, not adventure, the younger surviving. I saw you can buy tent, food, hiking gear, because yeah, you see a tent. This is not for the tourists. It's for people that are escaping with Venezuela. If, if you have seen Bolden bankrupt with you. This is the town he also is in before he went through the Darien Gap. But he's a little bit more adventurous than me, I think. <laughs> uh, maybe in the future we'll do something more adventurous. But now we are going to Rinco de la Mar, another uh, fine beach town in, uh, in Colombia. And how long was I in Rinco del Mar? Yeah, I was here for I think nine, ten days. It was it was not much to do here, but it was I don't know. The vibe here was super good. I just I as I had my hostel on the beach. It cost fifteen U.S. dollars, and uh, you went out eating fish every night pizza drank beer I and also I went to the local shops every day almost and buy some nuts uh, yeah and some yogurt mostly and, and also met up with my friend Sophie again here and she came uh, like a few days later than me but she also stayed here for five five days I think and I was here for uh, yeah, eight or nine days but here was my my favorite nuts and now I'm drinking a mango mango juice for 1.5 US dollars at on the beach and my hostel is just behind here it was I think almost one of the best hostels I have ever stayed in it was no breakfast included but the the area was super nice I will show you a little bit later uh, you will see a little bit of the hostel you see it Behind me is the hostel, and I really enjoy myself here. <laughs> and the sunset is amazing. Rinco del Mar, go to Rinco del Mar if you have the opportunity. If you, if you just want to relax, here, here is the hostel. So it's like I think 20 beds in an open space, and I have the beds on the yeah behind me now. That is my bed. Uh, so you share with a lot of other people as in the hostels but it was very cool a very cool place I really liked that and the people here was far cool as well 
and the, um, the people that the, the backpackers it was a backpackers place of course but now it's the end of Rinco del Mar the last day and I am like oh I'm going to an island outside Rinco del Mar an island very close to Cartagena as well so Rinco del Mar is also quite close to uh, Cartagena and Cartagena is one of the most popular destination in Colombia I think Cartagena and Medellin is uh, the, the most popular towns but now we are in a very special island the most the sunset populated island in the world actually it was a very cool place and the local here you find you you see the local like very easily you walked around this town and this so like Santa Cruz del Isolite yeah enjoy So now I'll say here you have the supermarket. You can find tuna, crepes. Yeah, you can find everything here. And the local school, children playing. I think they football, football they were playing here. Yeah. So maybe moving here in the future. Who knows? And a very, very special place in the Caribbean, in the middle of the Caribbean, outside uh, the Colombian. So bye bye, and now we are back on another island, and we are drinking the Brazilian national drink, Caprinha, and now we are playing bull. I think it's called the bull in English as well. Uh, it's very popular in Sweden. I think in France because the o the owner here is uh, is a France French woman actually for in 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 her early forties. Oh, and I won that actually. And now I'm in Cartagena. In Cartagena was almost my last assassination in in uh, in Colombia. So. I'm actually going back to Sweden in a few days here. But what did I do in Cartagena? You may ask. Yeah, I went. I what? I went with a lot of. I met a lot of cool people at the hostel. Was hanging out with them, and we went out for a party. I, I did not film that much in Cartagena, and also I went on a date actually, uh, as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I really like Cartagena. This was my second time in Cartagena, and Cartagena was the first city in uh, in South America I visit because when I was in uh, in Colombia for the first time, I went with a sailboat from Panama to Cartagena for three days in the San Blas Islands. It was very, it was a very cool experience. So, but I have done that before, so I will, I did not do that this time but also a, a good cool recommendation if you are in this area take a sailboat from Panama to Cartagena or from Cartagena to Panama and do the San Blas Islands for three or four or five nights I think but it's not that expensive I think maybe 500 euros 500 dollars something like that and uh, this is Cartagena I'm saying but soon we are, we are going back to Sweden, cold, cold Sweden. And uh, what's happening next? <laughs> this is filmed in 2023, so my next videos will be a little bit from Sweden. And, and then I will do a big trip in Asia. And uh, if you have not seen that, those videos is on my channel actually, some days later. This is my trip back to Sweden. I did not fly from Cartagena, I fly from another 
Ja, då sitter nort nort på lite bit nort från från Katarina. And I flew to Miami, Oslo, and then I took a bus from Oslo to Gothenburg. But yeah, I'm in Oslo now. <laughs> so my hometown hometown in Sweden is Gothenburg. There where I'm living at the moment. It's not my home now, hometown, hometown, but it's there where I'm living now. So see you in the next video. We'll be from Sweden maybe or something like that. Bye.